My research speech is on Lewis McDonald Grizzard Jr. He was born October the 20th, 1946, and he died March the 20th, 1994. He considered himself bulldog born and bulldog bred. He was born in Fort Benning, Georgia, and he died in Atlanta. He always made um, humorous remarks and had a humorous demeanor regarding his commentary on the American South. Although he spent most of his early career as a sports writer and a sports editor, um, he was much better known for his humorous newspaper columns, um, and most of them appeared in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. He also published a total of 25 books, including collections um, from his columns. He had books called Chili Dogs Always Bark at Night, um, if I ever get back to Georgia, I haven't understood anything since 1962, and um, he also um, wrote one that says, I'm going to nail my feet to the ground. Much of it was discussed um, regarding the South and his personal and professional lives. Um, it was also a commentary on issues prevalent throughout America. And, America, like relationships between men and women, um, but he um, began to have um, some pretty bad health issues with his heart. His um, father, Louis Grizzard Sr., was a soldier in the United States Army, and he left his mother, Christine, a school teacher, when Louis was young, and the mother um, of uh, Louis moved um, in with Christine's parents and um, established a residence in Moreland, Georgia. Grizzard went to the UGA in Athens, and he was a member of Sigma Phi fraternity and the Gridiron Secret Society. During this time, he became an avid Georgia Bulldog fan, um, and he started writing some... Um, articles for the Athens Daily News, and he uh, graduated uh, with an ABJ in journalism. He moved on to Atlanta, joining the Atlanta Journal, and he became the youngest ever executive sports editor um, at the age of 23. He also became the sports editor at the Chicago Times. Um, but I first got to know him by reading some of his books. He was humorous, and he was a lot like, um, um, I don't remember his name. You know you're a redneck if, um, but he's a lot like him, and he was like, um, you know, a, a businessman. Um, some people said that he was racially insensitive, um, and, you know, he, he felt that um, uh, one Chicago radio announcer who uh, sympathized with him <coughs> said that uh, Grizzard felt he was invalidated by a charge of racism. And in 1977, he returned to Atlanta and... Uh, just begin writing his column again. He he had a troubled life. He was battling alcoholism. Um, he went through three divorces. Uh, he was voted the Arthur from hell. Um, he had a congenital heart defect. Um, and, you know, he just, you know, had some near-death experiences after his third valve replacement surgery. But um, after marrying for the fourth time, he died of complications from his fourth heart valve surgery. Grizzard suffered from brain damage, according to one report, lack of oxygen. He was really too young to die. And I think he had a lot to offer. And I think he was just a good old boy. And he was just ready to m make his word known, not necessarily in the way that we would all want to, but sometimes I felt like he said what we all thought. 
Uh, and that's my report. Forgive me, um, my eyes are swollen from these allergies and I have to turn away every couple of seconds because I feel like I'm going to sneeze. But um, this is my report on Louis Grizzard. I hope to pull it together um, um, and, and talk about that, um, you know, him as a father because, because he did adopt a daughter with his fourth wife and I'd like to talk a little bit more about his writings when I do my actual report but thank you and forgive me for the puffiness of my face